Plush Any Gems, how are you today? I hope you're all doing well. We are going to be discussing two different topics today, but they're both kind of in the mushy, so we'll call it good on keeping them together. The first topic is tr action triggers, alright? And the second topic is uh, loops. Now, um, a action trigger, we'll, we'll discuss triggers first and then we'll go into the loops, all right? So first thing you'll need to know is um, the three main uh, triggers that we'll be using today, well, that I use in general, and um, probably what you're using most of the time are the egress doors, which you can find a video of that in the upper right hand corner as we speak. I go into detail on how to set that up and all the options associated with an egress door in another video um, that came out last week in fact. The other two are um, MPC spawner and the loot spawner. Again, the video will pop up in the right hand corner for your information and you can go check that out. I discuss the bugs associated with them and how to set them up as of that video and this video. All right. So what, so let, so in order to discuss a trigger, we should know what a trigger is. A trigger is something that activates, in this case, it activates a pippy tool, a named pippy tool that we have um, somewhere in the world. All right. It just activates it. All right. So let's go here. Here's a loot spawner. Um, it, it, in the action and we, uh, put it as a loot, uh, cause that's the name. We named it loot. Uh, it will activate this loot spawner. Same with those guys. All right. Let's get into the mushy editor here. Let's just be super close to why not? All right, so as you can see, we got an action node with the option trigger. It's right here between remove funds and give recipe. And it asks for the Pippi tool name, all right? That's why I say it's always important to name your tools. Now, do me a favor and not name them so simplistically as I did here. This is for testing and showing you guys. You will want to have some sort of naming convention or use of name, all right? So you'll want to name it for a reason more than just calling it an NPC spawner, okay? Especially if you're gonna use mushy to trigger it, all right? Okay, so, and then we got three option nodes which trigger each of the action nodes here, all right? And then we'll get into more detail about the loops here in just a moment, but this is basically a loop. It, it goes into this action node here, and then, uh, well, this option node triggers the action, and then it loops back, which means I don't have to um, exit out of midnight's dialogue to click on another option though all right so let's go control s control shift quit and apply close now um for 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 argumentative sake and whatever else sake make sure your thespian is next to an egress door that you're using her or him to open and trigger just because the egress door does close pretty quickly. So let's trigger the egress door. Ah, it opened. You can see that. We should try that a little bit better so you guys can see it a bit better. Well, that doesn't work. Let's try maybe right here. Uh, there we go. That's better. Voila! There we go. Triggered. All right. So let's uh, trigger the loot spawner and the NPC spawner. As you see, okay, okay, NPC spawner. Let's kill you real quick. As you can see, they work just fine. And that's exactly what it does. It triggers the pippy tool of the same name, all right? 
That's exactly what a trigger does. It just triggers the pippy tool name of the pippy tool of the same name. All right, that's all it does. Okay, guys, we are back in Midnight's Mushy Editor. We'll be getting into Draco's here in just a moment as well. So we're gonna also discuss um, loops. All right, and basically, what a loop is uh, is just that it's a loop it just goes back to something that it's already done or hits over to something else so like in here this is a loop it starts at this bounce node or well this land node i should say because it is a land node it, so this mushy editor starts at a land node goes through these three options and then bounces back to this land node which shows up these three options now you saw that when i clicked the egress door and it just continued to show these now if we didn't have this um node here it wouldn't show these three it would just show a a link screen of midnight so let's uh show that really quickly so you can see what i'm talking about oh uh, um right it's output to input, not input to output. <laughs> it's output to input. Okay, so let's go control save, control shift Q, hit apply, hit close, and we'll hit the egress door and see it doesn't show up the options anymore. That is basically what a loop does. It just kind of bounces back to something that you've already done or bounces, or yeah, no, basically this, that. Um, come on. There we go. Sometimes you do have to move these nodes around to say, oh yeah, hello, you got nodes there. And remember, I like to go top to bottom for my options nodes, so there's that. Alright, so let's um, take a look at Draco's editor real quick. Alright, so Draco's editor still has the entire mushy script from my first quest, so if you want to go check that out, it is um, the videos in the upper right hand corner as we speak, but it's also the link to the mushy string for this is um, in the description below. All right, it'll send you to a Google Doc and you just click on the folder in my first quest. It has a couple of notes on it and you just copy and paste the mushy string into your string and follow the notes as well. All right, so. Um, I created a loop for the purchase of a bow and the reason I did this was because maybe they want to purchase two bows maybe you want to purchase two bows and before I just didn't give you the option I closed the dialogue and called it good hope to see you soon blah 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 well in this case I have a bounce node that goes to uh, a land node that's 50 which is this bounce node here so if uh, they have 10 rep it, they can get which means they completed a quest they can go straight to this node here and it basically asks the player what what can I do for you and the player can ask I would like to buy one of your bows or sorry I forgot so on and so forth well if they go through um, this uh, chain of events um, yes I'd like to buy it it costs blah and I have this many. Um, yeah, sure, I love it. It checks to see if it ev they even have the funds. And if they don't, they kind of, we wind up closing the dialogue. I mean, there's just no point in leaving the dialogue open for them. So we close the dialogue. Same with, um, never mind, that's too expensive option. All right. And it adds a bow if they click the never mind. All right. So as they continue, they continue all the way. They the action node removes the funds, gives an item, and subtracts a local variable. And then, then Draco asks, "Is here's your bow. Is there anything else I can help you with? And then it bounces back to 87, which gives them the option to say, I would like to buy one of your bows. Sorry, I forgot. Well, I'd probably change this instead of sorry, I forgot. We all forget sometimes I might have an additional node here that um, so so instead of sorry I forgot I would do this 
sorry, I forgot here. And then possibly, so, so we would have to, well, let's think about this. Let's go like this, let's go like this. He would do this first and then this one, right? Okay, sorry, I forgot. Well, we all forget sometimes. But instead of so saying, sorry, I forgot for this one, I would say um, option node, uh, no thanks. Now see, the catch with this is it's going to show up this option node here as well. So um, no thanks, no thanks. All right. No thanks. No thanks. I'm good. Uh, or I'm I am good. I don't need an anything. Anything. And then sorry I forgot. Well we should have a dialogue of course. A quick little dialogue saying uh ooh, but very well. I hope to see you soon or see you later I'll see you later I will see you later all right so and then of course we can just close the dialogue that way and then I'll go over here and close the dialogue and do it that way all right so let's check this out control save control shift quit now I should still have the character variable rep um, 10 if I don't we'll just complete Lee fix that. <laughs> okay, let's check this out. So if we click this, uh, have you retrieved my ring yet? Okay, so I don't actually have um, the quest, the stuff yet. So give me one moment. Okay, we're back. Okay, so it says, hello Moonstone, what can I do for you? I would like to buy one of your bows. I'm good. I don't need anything. Sorry, I forgot. Literally, I do this all the time. Sorry, I forgot. So, um, as you can see, it gives you the three options in the order I actually want them in. Yay. <laughs> so, let's uh, say we got to buy a bow. Yeah, sure. Uh, it doesn't look like you have the funds to purchase the bow. Okay. So, let me fix that. Okay, we're back. I should have the funds now. <laughs> Alright, so we go, yes, I'd like to purchase it. Yes, I'm sure. Alright, so here is your bow. Is there anything else I can help you with? And it comes up with the first two options. And instead of, I forget, it, oh, I forgot, sorry, type thing. It comes up, I would like to buy another bow. I'm good, I don't need anything. And I will see you later. And then I'll close the dialogue. And we call it good. So that is a loop. It, and loops can get infinitely complicated, okay? Um, now, Mushy does not allow for infinite loops, so keep that in mind. Um, it, it just doesn't allow for it. You can get away w with getting around it, but you'd have to do some creative thinking and problem solving for that. But it does not allow for infinite loops directly. It's why part of the time when you're trying to connect a bounce node, if it doesn't actually have a number, it's not going to connect to it and so on and so forth on that. So do keep that in mind. You can even do a loop all the way to here. So if you had like three or four quests and they're like, okay, so we get this quest, we get the done, um, and you want them to continue to the next quest, but you also have to make sure they've past a certain check mark you can always have a bounce note a land node here and then do your condition nodes all right and then just bounce back all the way over to there as they get done with those conditions all right as they make the conditions true so that way you can continue on that way all right i hope you all enjoyed that video and i will see you guys next time thank you for watching if you liked the video don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget, stay shiny, and I'll see you guys all next time.